All right, let's talk about pressure and temperature conversions. This is something you have to do a lot of in um, the world of gas laws. Um, and so we'll talk about pressure first and then temperature. So um, what we have these things called standard pressures and uh, they're used to make conversions between different pressure units. And so here are some standard pressures. The easiest one is the one atmosphere but we can have that equal to um, a number of different pressure units. Um, and so 101.3 kilopascals, 760 millimeters of mercury, that comes from a mercury barometer reading, 14.7 uh, pounds per square inch, 760 tor, uh, 1.103 bar. Um, the ones we use the most are probably atmospheres and kilopascals and millimeters of mercury. But anyway, these are all equivalent um, amounts of pressure and they all just equate to each other. And so you can use these as conversion factors uh, when you need to go between different um, pressure units. So the way we do that is just with simple dimensional analysis. And so like if you had a problem where you needed to convert um, kilopascals into millimeters of mercury, um, you would just use simple dimensional analysis. And then over here, this is where you put the conversion factor um, for these two pressure units. We want kilopascals to go away and we wanna be left with millimeters of mercury. So remember whatever whatever unit you wanna be left with goes on the top and the bottom is designed to cross away um, from what you are starting with. And then you just use the, the appropriate numbers here. So um, we just use the equivalent numbers. So for KPA it's 101.3 and millimeters of mercury it's 760. And so now it's just a quick multiplication across the top and divide by 101.3. So uh, 82.57 oh, times, oh shoot, 82.57 times 760. And then, oh, whoops, everything's all screwed up here. 82.57 times 760 equals and then divide that number by 101.3 and that gives you your answer of 619.5 millimeters of mercury right kilopascals crosses away and that's it so there you'll you'll do a lot of converting between different pressure units and that that is how you do it okay um, in terms of temperature the only thing to really remember with temperature is that we always, always have to use the Kelvin scale when we work with gas laws. And uh, we talk a lot about uh, what the Kelvin scale is and where it comes from in class, but um, just to get you through, um, the, the thing to remember is that you have to add 273 to your Celsius temperature to get Kelvin. Um, and that's very, very common to be given Celsius temperatures in a problem. Uh, and then you have to convert to Kelvin to actually uh, plug in temperature values into our equations. And then if for any reason you have to answer a question um, with a degree Celsius uh, and you've already solved for a temperature in Kelvin, then you need to take 273 away from your Kelvin temperature uh, to get back to Celsius. I'm not even going to mention Fahrenheit um, because we just don't really talk about it. Um, we don't use it ever. It pops up in some of your introductory um, practice problems, but uh, the equation for Celsius to Fahrenheit um, is is on those sheets, and so I'm not I'm not going to worry so much about it here. Uh, this is this is the really important stuff to know how to do, and it's easy. So, alrighty, that's temperature and pressure conversions.